Hi, my name is Ruben Ortiz, AKA Trifecta Surf, and I'm a surf fishing specialist here in Southern California. I'm pro staff with Promar Nets, Phoenix Rods, Big Hammer Lures, and Owner Hooks. And I'm here today to talk to you about how to catch your personal trifecta from the surf using sand crabs. You'll need to know where to find them, how to catch them, and the tools that you need to be able to trap them. You too can go out and catch your personal trifecta from the surf and make it a great day by using sand crabs. So finding sand crabs is relatively easy. Uh, they start showing up on the beaches usually around May and they, they're in very plentiful all the way through the end of September. Uh, when you first start looking for them at the beginning of, of spring or early summer, they're going to be very small and they're, they're going to be scattered in different areas. But as summer rolls in, you're going to start finding plentiful on the beach and they'll start to grow. Most of the times you'll see the sand crabs congregate in large groups called beds. Once you locate these beds, you'll be able to uh, use the tools that we're going to talk about to trap the fish. Beds are relatively easy to find if you look for small V's in the sand as the water recedes. Now these V's will have a tendency to pop up and disappear as the water rolls back down to the bottom of the, of the sand bank. They're different from the little V's that you'll see from rocks or shells as the sand crabs will tend to pop up and dig in uh, as the water comes in and out. Sand crabs will have a tendency to move on the beach as the tide goes from low to high. They're gonna move gradually up the sand bank until they reach the high tide point and then they're gonna start to move down and once the the water reaches the low tide level, they'll probably sink down and stay there until the tide starts to come back again. Time of day is really not as important as where the water is flowing and what the tidal flows are doing. There are two very effective ways of catching sand crabs. One is with the Promar sand crab rake or with the Promar's uh, bait nets, such as the ones that we have here in front of us. The, the key to these is being able to approach stealthily to the sand crab bed and setting up the, the trap so that as the water recedes, the sand crabs will swim into uh, one of these, these nets. The Promar sand crab rake is a great tool for catching a lot of sand crabs quickly. This is the type of tool that you would take out with your buddies and all of you can uh, gather the, the crabs you need quickly and effectively. Keep in mind that sand crabs have a limit of 50 per person. So when you're fishing with your buddies, make sure that you only take enough to meet the requirements for each individual um, angler and don't exceed that, that limit. An effective way to use the Promar sand crab rake is to stand behind your, the crab bed that you located and wait for the water to reach where you're standing. Start about two to three feet behind the bed and once the water reaches you, take two to three steps onto the center of the bed and place the sand crab bed at a slight angle pointed towards you and let the water uh, recede back through the sand crab a rake. Shuffle your feet in front of it to scare the crabs and they'll all want to swim out into deeper water and they'll get caught inside the, the, uh, the rake. Well, the sand crab rake is an effective tool for catching large amounts of crabs in a short amount of time, it's not very portable. To be portable and be able to carry something that's light and easy to use, try using the Promar bait nets. These nets are, are easy to use, easy to store in a backpack or on a belt and they make it very easy for you to go out and find sand crabs uh, in, a quick, in a quick fashion. To use these, the technique is very similar to the sand crab rake. What you wanna do is, again, find your, your sand crab bed and wait for the water to come up and cover the bed. Once that water comes up, walk out in, next to the sand crab bed, place the net firmly into the sand and either with your feet or your hand, sh uh, shuffle sand into the, into the net, allowing the water to flush the sand out. Now the important thing to keep in mind here is that you want a net with a wider mesh. Uh, most of the bit, uh, dip nets that Promar sells have this wider mesh, which allows a lot of the smaller crabs and the, the small rocks and sand to flush through the net, allowing the sand crabs to be trapped. Promar has also recently come out with an all aluminum telescoping version of the bait net, which is great for using um, on the beach for sand crabs. This allows you to, again, have a net with a wide mesh that can go down and you can firmly place it in the sand, but you have the, the ability to extend that out so that you don't have to kneel down and you can use your feet to shuffle in the sand. If the sand crab bed is big enough, having a, a long extension like this and using your feet will provide very good results in catching your sand crabs. 
Fishing with sand crabs is one of the most inexpensive and effective ways to catch your personal trifecta from the surf. Whether it's corbina or perch, fish can hardly re resist a well-presented sand crab. Next time you're out there, do your best to find sand crabs. Catch and release as much as you can. If you need to take some home, by all means do that, but if you can, practice CPR. Catch, photograph, and release. The fish that you release today will be bigger and harder to catch next time and will leave something for the next generation. I'm Ruben Ortiz, or Trifecta Surf. You can look for me on Facebook under Trifecta Surf, or check with some of our local tackle stores and ask them when we're gonna be doing the next surf fishing seminar. You can check with Bob Sands, uh, Turner's, or Save on Tackle in Santa Fe Springs. Tight lines.